Oh, howdy everybody. And once again, we are coming to you from somewhere in the cold, rainy, soggy middle of nowhere. And uh, boredom has completely taken over. We've been doing this for, man, three days now. No end in sight. So, we can stay under our carport here. We can get a little shooting in the backyard with our pellet guns. And uh, let's take a look. Just gonna have a little, try and have some fun out here, man. It's killing me. And uh, we haven't done this in a while. I haven't got this one out, and it's been too long. This is our, our ass. Our, air-powered sniping system which is a, a, a daisy 880 with a cool paint job decent scope and a bipod and uh, love, another couple little cool things that i've this is what you do when you can't afford buck rail stuff <laughs> uh, or this is what you did before you learned about buck rail stuff anyways um yeah, how y'all like that, boy? Did all that by hand. Mm -hmm. So, it didn't really improve anything. It didn't hurt anything either. And, uh, it just looks cool. So, out at 20 yards. I can get you kind of zoomed in out there. Got a little target. And we're going to do the best we can with that. And that target is this. It's a Daisy Red Rider target. And uh, we got nine stars, and we're going to see if we can hit nine stars. We all know what this little challenge kind of looks like, huh? And to do that, we're going to be using our Crossing Copper Magnum. I'd planned to do this with a daisy pellet. I had uh, some like wad cutters or something. And uh, I tried getting it sighted in with them things and it was just, they were wildly inaccurate. Um, these ain't doing a whole lot better, but I got a decent uh, three out of five shots after I figured I was done sighting it in, so we're going to see what happens and how good we can do. So, this is going to take one shot at each of our nine little stars. And we'll go take a look at them. I may do a lot of talking. I think there's something else I want to talk about. And uh, it's kind of like a thank you sort, sort of deal. I want to thank all you guys, man. We're getting the uh, subscriber rates getting up there. So I'm kind of excited, man. I, we're like 477, man. We're officially on our way to 500, boy. Maybe we can get that done by the end of the year. And uh, we can talk about why. How in the world did this happen? And how what made you think you could get on YouTube and get people's attention? I had no idea that I, would, I could get anybody's attention. Who the hell wants to watch a grown man play with a pellet gun? Or watch a channel that doesn't even can't even edit. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> Unedited. Well, I think back in 21, I'm pretty sure it was 21, it was kind of during the whole riot time, and I was watching a 
they were showing a bunch of that riot footage on a, on the YouTube. And uh, so flipping through all the things, you know, I was watching a little bit of gun content. Uh, I like guns. And uh, lo and behold, Texas decided that they would start voting on constitutional carry. Let's take our first shot. Talk about wildly inaccurate, I guess. Huh, that didn't turn out too good. Hope we can make sense of that when we're done. Go back to our story. Constitutional carry. And so they were holding the hearings. And there was another YouTuber that probably a bunch of y'all know. That'd be Chris from Clovertack. And he was live streaming all the Congress hearings. Because he is also a Texan and he was under a And so I watched all the live streams. Right alongside with him. And uh, man, that was one of the first guys that would answer your questions. Man, when you commented, he was on it. Granted, there wasn't, you know, 1,000 comments every four seconds. So, man, he got to actually, man, answer questions. And, uh, which made it better because he could help you make sense of what these, you know, lawyers are talking about. Nobody understands what them guys are talking about during congressional hearings. At least I didn't. I thought I was going to have a way better time than this. Uh, I'm having a good time. We're telling a story. So, uh, man, that was really cool. And uh, then he did other streams while the hearings weren't going on about, you know, man, how to, how to get on the YouTube. And I thought that was really, really cool. You know, all the kind of the things that he did to get on and how he started and all that stuff. Boy. And so, man. He answered all my questions on how to, what do you do to get on the YouTube? Because now I'm totally interested, man. We got constitutional carry going on, and not always shotguns. It's fun. I didn't ever think that I was going to get on the YouTube and shoot guns. However, I'd 
seen some really, really bad videos. And I was thinking, man, I could at least be that entertaining. And plus, I could always fall back to the guitar. Which is probably a little, little more entertaining than this. Or maybe not, depending on who you are and what you would like to watch. Oh yeah, man, I, uh, that's how it happened. I watched a, I watched Chris from Clovertack. He got me in trouble. I say in trouble, I don't mean that. But he got me off the couch, man, and, and got me doing this. And I'm pretty grateful for that. And, uh, man, he made it about as easy to understand and how to do it. And sometimes, you know, man, you just got to take people's advice. And that's all. He just steered me in a, you know, man, in a certain direction. And I tried running with it. I was like, it'll be pellet lost in this thing. Hmm. That doesn't happen often. I don't know if it went backwards or not. So yeah, man, special thanks to Chris. What a cool guy. Helping folks like that. That's how I kind of figured that this was going to be a pretty decent community. And that just opened up a big old window. Then I couldn't get enough gun content. I decided to hmm, I'll shoot some targets. I can film that. I can ramble on while I'm doing that. So far, so good. I think I've been at it now for man, a little over a year. I think we're doing pretty good, man. I'm just trying to just have fun, man, and keep it fun. Not so much like work. Work's not fun. We're going to have to revisit this with a different pellet, I guess. I could have swore that this was, these were the pellets that this was most accurate with. That's how long it's been. I don't even know which one's the best. Or maybe they are the best and I used to not expect so much. <laughs> That's a possibility.
And the weird thing is, it's not even, it's just shooting all over the place. I thought this was way better. That's okay. Learning. Don't be afraid to try. You will learn. Every day you should learn something new. Or at least just don't give up. Under our last shot, I'll run up there and get this target. We'll take a look at Will. Alright. Well, then, there's not going to be a lot to look at. Huh? Well, I just wanted to get our thank you out of the way. What y'all think about that target stand? I came up there with my own idea. Look at that. That works pretty good. I was surprised, man. Just get a couple clamps and get you a board and there you go. So, wow. This is a little embarrassing. Depending on what you expect. Well, we shot here first. Let me back y'all off. <clears throat> Shot here first. We missed all the way down to there. We shot here second. I think we missed here. Third. There. Wow. Uh, this one was really close. I think it was this one here. Shot here, and I think that ended up down there. And this one didn't do so bad again. This one missed off to there, this one missed off to here, and our ninth one got right there. So we had three out of nine decent shots. <laughs> ah, what are you really expecting? I would imagine that most of these are an inch and a half away, but not really. I mean, this one's probably an inch away. This one's probably an inch away. That one's, man, I mean, you can see that, but inch, 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 pretty close, pretty close. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Well, there you go, guys. Just having some fun with a little Daisy 880. And uh, wanting to just give a Clover Tack a big old thank you for talking. Or not, he didn't even talk me into this. I had something I just wanted to figure out. You can do it too. But he was a big help in uh, getting me started, I guess. And, I just want to be thankful for that and I want to be thankful for everybody that watches and hangs out and comments and does all the things and make a channel keep on going and growing. So, anyways, guys, we love you all and uh, thanks. And uh, we'll see y'all soon. Bye, y'all.